I went three years basically undefeated, finishing finishing 10 out of my first 12 opponents. I was a Bellator lightweight champion, ranked top three, top five in the world. Um, and that's why you get into the sport, to have success. That's why we all do what we do. We want to have success. We want to achieve. We want to, um, you know, be put on a, for me it was to be put on a platform to reach people. And I was doing that. Um, and then I hit a, uh, a nice little rough patch. For the new and now two I had a dry spell of 668 days where I lost three fights in a row, um, fell out of the rankings. Just to watch the struggle, it was heartbreaking. Um, I could tear up right now thinking about it. I always kept that notion knowing that God didn't bring me this far to leave me and abandon me. Watching him when he was the one actually experiencing it all, um, watching someone like that keep his faith and be live a life of such integrity was encouraging for my own faith. As we all know as Christians, it's, it's not all sunshine and rainbows after you give your life to Christ. It's, there's going to be tough times, there's going to be ups, there's going to be downs, but, but through it all, you're one of God's children and you are absolutely blessed. <laughs> Scott, she hit me. When the flood comes and, and the earth is shaking and it feels like the world is crumbling around you and you're, you see your career that was flourishing and you see how big it was and, and how successful it was and all of a sudden it gets shrunken down into this, this shell of what it was, but you still have that faith and you still know that God's got you right in the palm of his hand and he continues to bless you. And here I, I sit here, you know, I'm not the champion anymore and I have three losses on my record, but I've, my career is 10 times better than it was back when I was champion. I've just been overcome, especially in the last few months, just with this gratitude, I guess you could say. I'm almost overwhelmed by it, and it's definitely been a gift that God has given me, and I'm so thankful for, but um, it's definitely been an emotional several, several years um, since going through the valley. But my faith has just, it's changed, it's gotten stronger, it's um, still being challenged every day through his career, especially because it's definitely a different one. If you can hold on for long enough, if you can keep that faith and stay steadfast and stay immovable and, and just continue to, to rest in God's promises, God's promises have never, ever, ever changed. It's up to you whether or not you believe. Bop, bop, boom. Yeah, she got it. It doesn't matter if you're a fighter, it doesn't matter if you're a, a mom or a, a, a father or a teacher or a, um, you know, whatever. We're all gonna go through hard times. It's, it's just keeping that faith and, and just remembering and, and resting in the fact that God's got you right in the palm of his hand no matter what.